Alright guys, I think it's finally time we tackle the spindle. Um, I've been doing a little bit of practicing. Uh, I've got a piece of aluminum in here right now. I did some single point thread milling and some precision-ish uh, press fits for the bearing, excuse me, slip fits for the bearing. And I was originally going to do a bit more practicing with steel, but you know, I think we're just going to go for it. First step is to cut down a piece of steel about the right length and turn the ends. Well, okay. Well, I know certain kinds of chips are bad for the bedways. Are cats? Yeah, they're probably okay. Yeah, single point threading still scares me a little bit. These turned out fine though. Uh, I probably should have used a regular nut instead of a lock nut to test the threading. Uh, I have a feeling this thing's supposed to be a little tighter than it is, but I think it's gonna work fine. This is a pretty good example of why we're turning between centers. Uh, you can see I flipped the part around here and it's still rotating uh, perfectly concentric, so that's nice. the spindle shaft is done we're gonna go ahead and make the housing for it and I'm gonna start with this solid bar <laughs> now this is totally overkill hey, monkey butt. this is totally overkill for what we're doing it would be much better if I started with like a you know a heavy wall tube uh, but I couldn't find anything for a reasonable price I mean literally like you know online metals and McMaster it was like a $70 piece of steel uh, and this solid bar was a whole lot cheaper at my local steel supply so we're gonna go with that. But before we cut it with the bandsaw, eh, you guys have heard me complain about this darn thing. It, it's not a good bandsaw, but uh, part of the problem is this blade is terrible, and it is probably the same blade we've had on there since we bought the thing. So Ryan went out and got one of these. Uh, it's, this is a Sterrett. Now, obviously Sterrett's a good name, but this uh, particular bandsaw blade is supposed to be very good. This is the uh, Intense Pro Die with two S's. Uh, it's a 10 to 14 teeth per inch uh, bandsaw blade, and it should work pretty well. It is monkey approved, of course. Um, so we're going to test it. Uh, not on this bar, because that's going to take forever. i got a thinner bar here we're going to give it a test with. I'm going to time the old blade, and then try the new one. Let's do it. I have to move this guy first, of course. You want to be cut in half? Huh? You won't be cut in half. Nope. I like you in one piece. This is why it takes me so long to get videos out. It's this guy. Well, 
was certainly faster. Not much though. I was expecting a little bit more. Now I know you guys will probably say, you know, you can mess with the spring tension on the back. Um, I could do that a little bit, but the, the, part of the problem with this bandsaw is the motor's not very good, so it'll stall out pretty easily. Uh, but I'll mess with it, and uh, I'll report back in a little while. Much, much nicer cut though. Much cleaner cut.
welding is still hit or miss. Uh, there are some really nice welds in this, at least what I would consider really nice welds. There's also some pretty ugly welds too, so I think right now we just need to work on consistency. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna mill this surface flat and bore this. We've indicated off the outside of this cylinder um, in kind of three locations, here on the side, straight, and here on the side. Ideally, you'd want one here and one here, but we don't have access to that. So instead, I think this is gonna work. Once this is milled flat, and we flip the whole thing over, it should be very, very close. We'll see. So milling the bottom of this thing was pretty fun. Uh, you can actually see exactly where the bracing is underneath where the welding took place. You know, I think it's funny, at least three-fourths of the time working on this project were either setting up to mill or measuring. Uh, very little of the time was actually machining. that slitting saw arbor just for this project. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. I'll probably do a quick video on it later. Uh, this is my first time using a slitting saw. It's pretty interesting. Worked real well for the first half. Uh, the second half it was tough to keep cool. There's just a huge amount of friction. I'm not sure if that's uh, the metal trying to squeeze back down on the blade after most of the material is removed or not, but uh, eh, I'm learning. Yeah, this seems like a bad idea. I think I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, appreciate you guys' patience on this. I know these episodes aren't coming out as frequently as normal. Uh, frankly, the level of precision involved in this is a little higher than we're used to, so it's taken a little while, but we appreciate it. Uh, special thanks to our Patreon supporters. Uh, as usual, huge, huge help to us, but it's going to do it for this episode. See you guys later. Hey, Mike. Yeah. You got this huge package from Dale. Dale sent us something? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got. Huh. What is it? Uh, irony. Seems pretty heavy. Yeah. 
Well, you guys can see this on the next episode. Later.